This idyllic place is our world. It has every appearance of paradise. From the white sand beaches to the mighty treetops, it appears still and peaceful. But if you look closer, there is more to this than meets the eye. Every living being is locked in a deadly competition. Ahead lurks the land of great danger for some and opportunities for others. But our world has changed. To survive, we too must change. Will you have what it takes to survive? Away. Hey V, you all right? <sighs> Let's do this. You won't give out what this is. Okay. What now? You pare. Johnny. You pare. On a le plancher. Where are we? Our BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the deep net. Beyond there are no borders. Beyond the black wall. Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 2019 Deep Dive video. In last year's gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, where you are. and visual design. This year, we'd like to give you a peek at some of the play styles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the story. Here goes nothing. You're about to see sequences embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> We'll show you a strong solo build, that is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. And a Netrunner build, a playstyle taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts. Two gangs, the Animals and the Voodoo Boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct who haunts our main character, V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Be aware that the gameplay as presented does reveal characters and locations you'll see while playing the game's main story arc. So watch at your own discretion. Where are we headed? As Polaris's campaign promised, we are quote. This way. In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. No Pacifica well. Nah. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. 
When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Ongoing gang wars plague this part of the city. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. The Grand Imperial Mall is a whole other story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently, it stood vacant, but now a gang called the Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right in the big guy up top. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. I've now seen the Grizzle Hagwe on Sebnet. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. Through Hagwe, I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are V? We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Han sent me. He said you got murk work needs doing. Still, to earn their trust, we need to prove our worth. Placide, one of the Voodoo Boys' higher-ups, has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 20, 35, 07. Three seconds before, poof, a camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The Animals are not your normal gang. Their presence in Pacifica is suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat implants to raise their prowess in combat. Their beverage of choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed throughout town. As skilled street level business types, they've cornered the market in illegal substances and underground live or die prize fights. When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. In this case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. Said you wanted my bags inside. No. As far as I remember, you said no bone brain buffaloes on steroids. I'm afraid that's the cost of doing biz. This is the tech Placide was talking about. It seems non-standard for the animals. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for the job, which we can complete in one of many ways. The character creation in Cyberpunk 2077 is the kind you'd expect from a full-fledged RPG. You start by choosing your past, important because this unlocks special options at important story junctures. You also fully customize your character using a deep customization system that spans not only your look and style, but also your abilities. Cyberpunk 2077 does not feature fixed classes. Instead, it has a fluid class system that allows players to mix and match a wide range of abilities to suit their play styles. You can create a strong solo character, a skilled netrunner, or any other hybrid class you can imagine. Let's see how a solo play style in Cyberpunk 2077 might work. Solos prefer a direct approach. They use guns and might to get things done. So let's wreak some havoc. With our enhanced strength, we can strip this turret of its weapon to give the animals a taste of their own medicine. This 
is how a player investing in solo abilities might live out their Terminator power fantasy. Enhanced strength lets us force open doors. Or grab enemies to use as human shields. We also gain access to powerful melee combat cyberware. So even someone as fast and strong as Sasquatch, the leader of this group of animals, is not impossible to beat for a solo. But Sasquatch has a different game plan. She's out to jack in and hack us. Let's see how this plays out. Ready for some fun? Oh, Proceed. What's going on? It's our choice if we want to finish her off or spare her. Your cyberpunk, your rules. If you'd rather sneak around, hide, and strike from the shadows, no problem. Just develop your net running skills to get around obstacles or hack into enemy tech to have it do the dirty work for you. Net running abilities mean hacking skills that let us use our cyber deck to breach access points. For this, we fill the buffer of our cyber deck with a string of instructions represented by these letters and numbers. Matching the instructions for basic access grants us control of devices connected to this network. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements in the network. We can hack our way through in numerous ways. A quick hack may grant us control of the security camera. Another one should let us tweak the difficulty of the training bot to create a distraction. With our nanowire, we can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. In this world, almost everything is connected to a local network. And that means it can be hacked. Ours is a wolf. Which brings us back to cyberspace. You don't get to do anything in the net unnoticed. There's always someone watching. It could be Corpos, or even worse, it could be Netwatch. And that is exactly the case here. Who is they? Netwatch. They always have to fuck us. Netwatch and the Voodoo Boys are like fire and ice. The first of these wants to maintain the old order and protect people from AI anarchy originating from beyond the Black Wall. The Voodoo Boys want to establish contact with the free AIs. They believe this will enable their boundless expansion on the net and grant them the upper hand over Netwatch. Netwatch sees this as the end of the world. Both are right. Whoa, hey. How you deal with the Netwatch agent is entirely up to you. Do we side with the gang? Choosing to be on Netwatch's bad side is never wise. But can we really trust the Voodoo Boys? You set me up! As you can see, we have many possible options. But in each case, we take a risk. I think I'll just stick to my plan. In the world of cyberpunk, few things go as planned. And that was just a glimpse of how complex the branching storyline in Cyberpunk 2077 can get. Every decision you make will have consequences, your choices will shape how the world reacts to you, and affect your relationships with those around you. One of those relationships is special. Ever heard of Johnny Silverhand? A rebel rocker boy who will be your companion throughout your adventure in Night City? 
Come on, really think they give a rat's dick how you look? Like everyone in Cyberpunk 2077, he has his own agenda. You'll decide if he'll be your ally or your enemy. And that chip in your head, the one thanks to which Johnny lives inside your mind. Well, that's a story for another time. Dad made it sound we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This is how we'll rebuild our country. Extinction's on hold for now. I'll be waiting for you on the beach.
What's the other mark from? Clinging woman in a cave. I see. Affenphosphophobia. Sam, I owe you an apology. Who was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd have made it? I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help, Mama. She needs you. You have to break some ties to forge others. You can't be tied to everything. The world's still broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. Wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Five mass extinctions, each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kids done enough. No more. The decommissioning order finally came through. Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. I had no idea until you told me. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Come and find me. I'm not the only one wearing masks, either. There's your boss, man. And that woman. And... Oh! Let's not forget little old you. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. Almost time. Two, one. Peggy, eighteen. We were all busy with our own small lives. Didn't know what went on in secret. Didn't see the war coming. 
They said the war would be won within months. An adventure, promising pride and honor. In the end, it would be five years. Years of torment and horror, like the world had never seen before. The Great War, that was supposed to end all wars, is over. While in secret, the seed is sown for the next war. But this time, we're vigilant and we'll fight. Marvel's Avengers is a third-person action-adventure game featuring an all-new, original story where you play as your favorite Avengers. The story starts on A-Day at the opening celebration of the Avengers West Coast headquarters in the reveal of the team's new Terrigen Crystal Reactor. But after being blamed for a disastrous explosion that leaves San Francisco in ruins, the Avengers are forced to disband due to public backlash and government pressure. In their absence, a new organization rises vowing to protect the world, Advanced Idea Mechanics, otherwise known as AIM. Five years later, the world is a very different place. In their pursuit of a safer future through science, AIM has replaced superhumans with their advanced Synthoid AI. But under the surface, the signs of a conspiracy against heroes begins to unfold. With all superheroes outlawed, an Avengers fangirl from New Jersey named Kamala Khan embarks on a quest to prove her hero's innocence and become who she was destined to be. Kamala plays an essential role as the catalyst to reassemble the team with her unique perspective and incredible powers. Only together can the Avengers overcome the dangers in this new world. You'll start by establishing a base of operations in a decommissioned helicarrier, which gets upgraded throughout the story. You can customize your heroes to play solo or assemble online with your friends, defending Earth from ever-escalating threats. Each of the heroes has tons of outfits, inspired by over 80 years of Marvel history, as well as original new ones. As you play, you'll earn and unlock gear. Equip different gear pieces to customize your playstyle and become even more powerful. Power up gear by unlocking perks, which will change the way you play the game. Unlock skills and abilities as you earn experience and build your heroes to fit your playstyle. Using the War Table, you can launch into two different types of missions. Hero missions are the single-player campaign experiences showcasing specific heroes, and Warzone missions, which are played solo or online with up to a total of four players. All missions drive the narrative forward, and all of your heroes' progress is shared across the entire game. Reassemble the Avengers and rebuild the team to be Earth's mightiest heroes once again. Vicious terror attack left hundreds dead. Mayor of London has declared a state of emergency. As you can see, London's having a rough time of it. What with these nasty opportunists seizing control. That's where you come in. Welcome to the Resistance. It's up to you to build the perfect team and take the city back. The good news is that any Londoner could become your next recruit. You can play as anyone. And they've all got their own gameplay skills. 
see this charming chappy. That's Victor. Watch it, you dumb idiot. He only takes half the amount of damage after his nectar pint. Or four. <laughs> Top man. And her, that's Sue. Top-notch lawyer. Once in your team, she can get your operatives out of jail automatically. You don't even need to lift a finger. Nice one, Sue. And this is Alan. Old codger and veritable mad bastard. Increased damage with rifles and... Wait. May die randomly? R.I.P. Alan. Moving on. Everyone is different, so you have to decide what's best for your team. But why would these fine people want to join you? Well, everyone's got an origin story. I want you to help me get revenge on the gangster that killed my brother. Help them with their problem, and once they trust you, they will become playable characters. Each one of your new best friends is a unique gameplay build. So dust off your sorting hat and give them a class. Then level them up and unlock new perks. There are thousands of possibilities. Whether you've got a knack for gizmos, or you'd rather stalk people from the shadows. Building a team with diverse skills will be critical to your success. Each new recruit will make your team stronger. You can even customise your team members. There, what a lovely hat. Of course, accidents can happen. Don't worry. If you're smart, you could always surrender. No shame in that. Anyone got Sue's number? Luckily, our city is filled with millions of people and any single one of them could be your next recruit. London's calling. Get out there and take it back. Watch Dogs Legion. Available March 6, 2020. Check out the Watch Dogs Legion 101 trailer. If their trust can be earned. 